Hi everybody, this is the Golden Era Bookworm and today I'm going to go through Arnold's chess program which he used for the Mr. Universe in 1966. So we're continuing on the video series of Arnold's advices and Arnold for his chest and his back and actually for his whole, whole program used to basically stick to the basics. These included uh, bench presses, dips, flies, and for the back, rows and chins. And let's go through the exercises now and actually uh, look at the volume and the way he performed these exercises. Now here are a couple of photos of Arnold. One is uh, probably in Gold's gym. You can see him training there with Dave Draper. And he was a, for, for his um, 1966 program, he actually performed the incline barbell press, but more like as is shown on the right hand side, where he's actually on a very steep angle. And back before the incline bench was invented, uh, basically there was a padded uh, bench that would hook on a railing, as you can see behind him, and most uh, bodybuilders would then stand and kind of lean backwards and do the incline presses like he is there. So it was a very steep angle incline barbell press, which a barbell bench press, which he used to perform. Another favorite of Arnold, which he used for the 66 universe, was the barbell bench press. And thank you for Strength Old School for this particular image. Of course, Arnold is f uh, famous for using flies and going rather heavy on them. So this was another uh, exercise he used. But in this case, for the 66 universe, he performed incline uh, bench dumbbell flies. Another exercise he used this time to work the lower pec, of course, remembering that the incline bench press and the incline flyer would work the upper chest. The dips actually tend to work the lower part of the chest. For the back, his routine was rather simple. He would simply perform a variety of chin ups as shown here. For example, close grip versus wide grip. He would also perform barbell bent over rows and in particular, one of his favorite ways of performing this was actually standing on a bench and going uh, all the way using a full range of motion and using very, very heavy poundage. So looking at the actual routine for his chest, Arnold is very famous for using quite a lot of volume. And as I mentioned, in each particular exercise, for example, the incline press. He would perform this on a steep angle as shown in the previous photo. He would perform 10 sets, increasing 20 pounds every second set. And his rep range would look like this. So he would actually then drop the reps by two as he increased the poundage. So he would perform 10 reps, 10 reps again, eight, eight, six, six, four, four, two and two using up to 260 pounds at the time. With the barbell bench press he would also perform 10 sets using up to 80% of his bench press max of his one rep max. Rep range was 10, 10, 8, 8, 8, 6, 6, 6, 4 and 4. So this is very typical of Arnold's pyramid routine where he would progressively increase the weight. He also would then finish off his chest with incline flies, as I mentioned earlier, 10 sets of eight reps and dips with 40 kilograms hanging off him, five sets for eight reps. The volume was incredible that Arnold used and no wonder his chest was absolutely massive. Unbelievable amount of volume. Looking at Arnold's back routine, as I said, it was rather simple. He performed a variety of chin-ups, 
15 sets in total for 10 reps. The other exercise he used were bent over barbell rows, 15 sets times 10 reps, and I'm assuming he may have mixed it up here as well using T-bar rows and, and other forms of rowing. The source of this particular information, as I mentioned before, for the during the 1966 and 1967, Arnold was not known in the West. If you look at my previous videos, I've shown Arnold's first covers, and most of them are from German-speaking uh, magazines, such as Kraftsport Review. This is number 30, and in this particular magazine, I believe this particular magazine has Arnold's first program ever published and I have to apologize that it takes so long to actually translate all of this because German is not my first native language and so it does take me a little while to translate this information because it's all in German. So I hope that if you try this program Firstly, I would recommend that you don't get straight into it doing all the volume that Arnold did, almost 40 to 50 sets. It's unbelievable the amount of work he did for his chest and 30 sets for his back. It's just crazy. But it worked for him. It worked for him. And if you want to try it, I recommend that you progressively increase your volume. And that by the end of it, I'd hope that you have a chest and a rib cage and a back as huge as Arnold's with that wonderful tapering waist, that tiny waist. It's unbelievable. I love this photo of Arnold. He even looks like he's in disbelief of what he's created. Wow, what a physique. Amazing. The oak at his best. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment and I'll uh, see you soon. Bye for now.